Hi, I'm Tammy Sanders, and I'm here to tell you about the book I chose to represent the Cybert Award. I chose A Splash of Red, The Life and Art of Horace Pippin. It's written by Jen Bryant and illustrated by Melissa Sweet. This is a biography of the artist Horace Pippin, who was born in 1888 and through his lifetime faced a variety of um, problems and dilemmas. He um, was from a very poor family, had to drop out of school in eighth grade. Um, he went and fought in World War I, and when he was in the war, he was actually shot, and it was his drawing arm, his painting arm, that was badly damaged. And despite all of these things, he still was able, able to overcome all of that, and not only made art and created paintings and drawings, but he became a famous artist and got recognized for um, his art and his work. So I think that's a fabulous um, lesson for students to learn. The book itself is written in um, a storybook style, so it's very fitting to early and mid-elementary school students. Um, here is an example of one of the pages, and this page is one of my favorites because it shows the variety of media that Melissa Sweet used in her artwork. She used collage, she used watercolors, um, she, I read a bit of a note in the back and she actually created these um, colored pencils and the other tools and um, put uh, that creation into her illustrations. Um, with this book, I would do a couple different activities with kiddos. Um, I would do an activity on adjectives because there's, well, it's a splash of red. So first off, I do adjectives and do an introduction on that. Um, for both younger and older age groups, once we went over what an adjective was and did some brainstorming, um, like a hunch through the book of different adjectives that we heard as I was reading um, or doing a reread, we would then have some apples. I would bring in some apples and we would look at them, we would feel them, we would hold them, we would touch them, we would taste them, we would smell them, we would do all these different things, and then we would do some brainstorming of adjectives of the apples itself. And of course, they would be red to go along with the touch of red. After um, an adjective activity, I would also like to do an art activity. I think this story has a great um, message for students and following their dreams and not giving up on all those wonderful things we want to give them in their character. So using the inspiration of one of the pages in this book, um, students would create a self-portrait similar to this and all around their self-portrait they would include pictures that they would draw of talents that they had or things that they'd like to do or maybe the people that they love or where they like to go so they would surround their own self-portrait with things that represented them um, even if it was just some lettering and that would be more for older with with like the kindergarten or first grade I would probably start with an outline of the portrait and then have them fill in the details of the color of their hair their eyes those different items and um, most likely cut out pictures of things that they'd like to do or find pictures um, on the computer that we can print up so then they can cut and paste those in so they're not frustrated by the drawing aspect of it. So that is what I think I would do in a classroom with a splash of red and thank you very much.